everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the Lark's Foot Stitch, which is a fairly popular crochet stitch. It's uh, quick to work up, it's kind of fun, and uh, it's the same on both sides. It'd be a great candidate for like uh, blankets and that kind of thing or market bags. You can let me know how you would use this stitch in the comments below. Today for the tutorial, I'm going to be working this pattern in three different colors. I'm going to use this paint box cotton around yarn and I'm going to be uh, using it in blue, which is my color A, green, which is my color B, and purple, which is my color C. I'm also using a five millimeter crochet hook. Links for both of these items can be found in the description of this video. Also in the description of the video, you'll find the direct link to the free written crochet pattern on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me. And uh, while you're here, I invite you to subscribe, take a look around, and uh, you'll find lots of great crochet stitch tutorials and crochet patterns here. Our Lark's foot stitch today is worked in rows. So taking your color A, you're going to start by making a slip knot. And then you're going to chain a foundation chain and your foundation chain is going to need a total of four plus one stitches. So today I'm going to chain a total of 21 chain stitches. There's 10. Twenty and twenty-one. Once you have worked your uh, necessary chain stitches, you're going to begin by working one double crochet into the fourth chain from your hook. Next, you will work one double crochet into the next stitch. Your chain three at the beginning does count as a double crochet stitch, so you're always going to treat it as such. Next, you're going to chain one, skip the next chain, and work one double crochet into each of the next three stitches. You're going to repeat that all the way across. Chain one, skip one, and double crochet into each of the next three stitches. At the end of this row, you can chain three and turn your work. At the end of row one, you're chaining three and turning your work. Remember that your chain three does count as a stitch. For row two, you're going to skip that first stitch because your chain three counts as the double crochet and you're going to work one double crochet into each of the next two stitches. Chain one, skip the chain one space and work one double crochet into each of the next three stitches. You're now going to repeat that all the way across. Chain one, skip the chain one space and work one double crochet into each of the next three stitches. When you come to the end of your row, you're going to work your final double crochet into the top of that starting chain three and uh, change to your color B. And I'm going to show you how to do that in just a moment here as I come across. Chain one, skip the chain one space, one double crochet into each of the next three stitches all the way across and coming to the end of my row two. I'm going to now when I come to my last stitch prepare to change to my color B. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to yarn over with my color A, insert my hook into the top chain of that starting chain three. I'm going to yarn over and draw up a loop, then yarn over and pull through two loops. You can then drop your color A and depending on what you would like to do, you can either fasten it off or you can leave it attached and pick it up later on when you come back. 
but you're going to drop that color A, pick up your color B, which for me is this green color, place it on your hook and pull through to complete the stitch. You're now all set to work your row three with your color B. So you can go ahead and chain four, which counts as a double crochet stitch and chain one space and turn your work. For row four, or sorry, row three, <laughs> we're going to skip the first two stitches because this first stitch has our chain three coming out of it, which is a double crochet. And then we have a chain stitch, which is going to be a chain space. So we're going to skip those first two stitches and double crochet into the next stitch. Next, you're going to work a long double crochet into the chain space two rows below. So to work your long double crochet, you're going to yarn over, bring your hook in front of your work and insert your hook into the chain space two rows below, yarn over and draw up a loop. Draw up that loop to the height of your double crochet stitch, yarn over and pull through two loops and yarn over and pull through two more. Next, double crochet into the next stitch. Once you have double crocheted in the next stitch, you're going to chain one, skip the next stitch and double crochet into the next. We're now going to repeat that all the way across, beginning with our long double crochet into the chain one space, two rows below. So one long double crochet, double crochet into the top of the next stitch, chain one, skip one, and double crochet into the next stitch. Continue to repeat it across, long double crochet into the next chain one space, two rows below, double crochet, chain one, skip one, and double crochet into the next stitch. Long double crochet into the next chain one space, two rows below, double crochet into the next double crochet stitch. When you come to the end, you're going to chain one, skip one, and then double crochet into the third chain of your starting chain three. At the end of this row three, you can chain four and turn your work. For row four, you're going to skip the first stitch and that chain one space, and then double crochet into each of the next three stitches. Chain one, skip the chain one space, and double crochet into each of the next three stitches. You're going to repeat that all the way across and when you come to the end, you're going to switch to your color C. For row five, you now have your color C attached. You're going to Sorry, you're going to chain three and turn your work. Once you've chained three, this counts as a double crochet stitch. And you're going to begin by working a long double crochet into the chain one space, two rows below. Next, double crochet into the next stitch chain one, skip the next stitch, and double crochet into the next stitch. You're now going to repeat long double crochet into the next chain one space, two rows below. 
double crochet into the next stitch, chain one, skip one, and double crochet. Repeat that all the way across. I've come across to the end of my row and I just want to show you how we're going to end it. So long double crochet into the chain one space, two rows below. And then up here on our chain four starting chain, we're going to work our final double crochet into the third chain of that starting chain. So just insert your hook, yarn over, insert your hook into that third chain and work your final double crochet stitch. That brings you to the end of row five. So you can then chain three and turn your work. For row six, you're going to work one double crochet into each of the first two stitches. Chain one, skip one, and double crochet into each of the next three stitches. You're going to repeat that all the way across. Chain one, skip the next chain one space, double crochet into each of the next three stitches all the way across to your final stitch and then you're going to switch back to your color A. At the end of row six, once you've switched back to your color A, you can chain four and turn your work. And that's all there is to working this Lark's Foot stitch. You're going to continue to repeat rows three to six for as long as desired. Uh, so you're going to start there with your row three by skipping those first two stitches and then double crocheting into the next stitch, followed by a long double crochet down below, double crochet, chain one, skip one, and uh, double crochet in the next stitch and so forth. So go ahead, repeat uh, rows three through to six for as long as you would like. You can then fasten off, weave in your ends, and that's all there is to working this Lark's foot stitch. So thank you so much for joining me. Once again, I invite you to subscribe and I look forward to seeing you again next week. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye.